as it's Aldino here and like I said in the last video this is going to be my tutorial on how to downgrade the PS Vita firmware so let's get into it alright guys we're on the PS Vita now and I'll be showing you what you need to do to downgrade the firmware from the PS Vita side to start off with so what you want to do is go down to Vita Shell open it if Vita Shell doesn't want to open all you need to do is run Trinity and click exit and then it will work and now you just want to click select to connect to the computer and now I'm going to go on the computer side and show you what you need to do from there but this is what you need to do first so we can make sure to transfer the downgrade files super cool sound effect we're back on the PC and now I'm going to be showing you how to do the downgrading on this side of things so what you want to do is go to this website I'm going to have it in the link of, in the link in the description below so don't worry and this is Modoru. What you want to do is click download and install Modoru.vpk. So that's the program that we install on the PS Vita and it will downgrade the firmware. Next, what you want to do is go on this website, which also is going to be in the link in the, in the description below because I'm such a nice guy. And here, what you want to do is choose your firmware that you want to downgrade to. So if you don't know what your PS Vita's firmware is, what you're going to need to do is just choose any firmware on here that you think that your PS Vita, PS Vita factory came with. So the, how the firmware downgrading works is you can only downgrade to the lowest firmware that the PS Vita ever was, which she came sh like chipped in. So if the Vita, PS Vita got made with firmware 3.61, that's as low as you can go. If it was made with firmware 1.2, that's as low as you can go. So. If you have an estimate, just choose any number. If you completely don't know, just choose one firmware. For example, here I'm going to be choosing firmware 3.6.5 because I know that my PS Vita's lowest firmware is 3.61 and yeah, I want to go down to 3.65 to get a permanent hack. So I've got both of these downloaded on my desktop. Here's the Midoru, here's the PS Vita firmware that I want to downgrade to, 2.65. And now what you want to do is go to the PS Vita and click view show hidden files if your hidden files isn't appearing click options change folder name and search and then what you want to do is click view and here you want to tick this box show hidden files folders and drives and if that doesn't show it you want to um, do another one click this one hide protected operating system files make sure it's not ticked that will enable you to see these extra options after click after clicking view hidden files. So now what you want to do is transfer the modoru.vpk onto the root of the folder of the USB. Blah. Now that it's transferred, I'm going to be going back to the PS Vita and showing you how to install it. PS Vita back again, and now this is the screen you would have seen if you saw the first part of the video. Now you want to do is cancel it, go into the UXO folder. And then after you go on the UXO folder, you want to go all the way down. I'm just going to hold it until you find modoru.vpk. Now you want to install it. Do you want to install? Of course. Of course you want to say yes. And then you can just go back and you can see Modoru is right here installed. Now what you want to do Check it, yep, all there, go back to Vita Shell, go back and now connect your device to the PC again and I'll go back to the PC and show you the next part. Here we go, we're back to good old Master Chief again and now I'm going to be showing you to how to transfer the file in which folder the firmware you want to downgrade to. So when you open up the folder, when you unzip it, it's going to have another three zips inside. The one that you want is the official one, official firmware 3.65. Make sure it's not the pre or system data one because those are the ones that are not going to work. So open this one, drag it to the desktop, which I already did, I think. No, I didn't. Okay, I'll just do it again. Drag it to the desktop. Open up your connected PS Vita. Go to app, go to Modoru and transfer the file inside. So this should be relatively quick. There we go. Now it's transferred to the PS Vita and now what you want to do 
is just safely disconnected just in case and we can be back on the PS Vita now. Now to the final part of the video is downgrading the PS Vita system software. So what you want to do is cancel out of this, exit Vita shell and restart your system. So turn off and then turn on There we go. Now what you want to do is run Trinity again. Remember guys, this can fail or not fail. So if it fails, you just got to restart the system until it succeeds. My one luckily succeeded. Here we go. It's launching the Trinity hack. This guy, the flow, is an amazing person by the way. All props goes to him. He's a legend. Without him, um we wouldn't be going to heaven. So now we go to Modoru. Launch. And here we go. Target firmware 3.65 as you can see right there. So that's the firmware obviously we transferred to the PS Vita. And what you want to click now is X to continue. And it also says your factory firmware. So see my one is 3.61 and the current firmware 3.7 just click X and now you just gotta wait in 20 seconds it will continue on to the next screen and now what we want to do is click X again to accept these terms and start the installation now you'll see it's copying a bunch of files Alright guys, so I sped up that whole video for your convenience and that's it. It should now be on the firmware 3.65 or whatever one you chose. So let's go double check. There you go. System version 3.65. Congratulations, you guys are now downgraded. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, like and subscribe to this channel. And I'm going to be making more videos on, on this and probably another video on how to get the games. So there you go, fellas. Catch you later.